Uh, this is the second video for Saturday, April the 23rd, 2022. Of course, the title of the devotional was The Prodigal and the Prisoner. This is the second part, the first video, consider Jeremiah 31. This video will consider the Jeremiah chapter 32. Now, I've titled this Imprisoned But Not Forgotten. Now, let's begin and let's ask the question, where is Jeremiah? Now, in spite of Judah's sins, Jeremiah had assured the people the Lord would not forget them. And nevertheless, they were to accept the consequences of their sins being 70 years of captivity in Babylon. Now, what became of Jeremiah, the Lord's prophet? Well, the answer to that question is recorded in Jeremiah 32 and verse 2, where we read, Jeremiah, the prophet, was shut up in the court of the prison, which was in the king's of Judah's house. Now, that's found in verse 2. In verse 3, rather than he, Jeremiah's admonitions, the king of Judah, Zedekiah, had literally shut him up, literally and physically, as the army of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, laid siege to Jerusalem, Jeremiah was, quote, shot up in the court of the prison, where he was treated with disdain. Now notice in verses 6 through 12, with Jerusalem under siege and the rest of Judah fallen, Jeremiah makes the decision to purchase a field in Anath. And that was his home town, his village, his place where his family lived. Now, why purchase land at a time that Judah was overrun by the armies of Nebuchadnezzar and the imminent fall of Jerusalem was at hand? Why purchase land at such a time? Well, humanly speaking, purchasing the land appeared foolish. However, Jeremiah was acting on his faith. And faith... In fact, by purchasing the land, he was proving his confidence that all the Lord's promises about restoring Israel to the land would come to pass. Notice then in verse 16 through 44, Jeremiah's prayer and the Lord's affirmation, and this is just a, a simple and brief uh, look at that passage. The Lord had rehearsed with Jeremiah the sorrow that would come upon Israel and Judah because of the sins of the people. Nebuchadnezzar, he prophesied in verses 26 through 29, would destroy the city of Jerusalem with fire and the people would suffer disease and famine. Should anyone question why? Why Judah was left desolate? Jeremiah was to remind the people in verses 30 through 35 the depths of depravity to which Judah had fallen. In spite of Judah's wickedness, the Lord promised he would not forget his people and would restore them to their land. Now, I have a closing thought for you on this. The question would be, how would Judah and Israel find their way back to the Lord and back to the land? And that answer is found in Jeremiah 31 and verse 21, where we read, Set thee up way marks, make thee high heaps, Set thine heart toward the highway, even the way which thou wentest. What were these way marks and high heaps that were to mark the way? Well, they might have been heaps of stone that would have been in the wilderness. And uh, the children of Israel or Judah uh, setting these as markers that they might know the way back home. Realizing they're crossing through a wilderness area and being taken to Babylon. But I would suggest to you that the way marks and the high heaps that marked the way were not only physical through the wilderness, but they were spiritual back to the Lord. Spiritually, the way marks were God's law and commandments. Seventy years later, the Jewish people were free to go home. And there they not only rebuilt Jerusalem, but more importantly, they reestablished their covenant with the Lord. You know, there may be someone reading this devotional, and you may be far from the Lord. And I want to ensure you, or assure you, and ensure to you, as God waited on Israel, He waits on you to turn from your sin, repent, and come home to Him. Some of Judah did recognize that God's chastening was His way of loving them and calling them back home to Himself. Uh, we read in the 
book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 11, these words, now no chastening for the present, seemeth to be joyous but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. To you that are away from the Lord, I suggest he is waiting. Won't you come home? Thank you for joining me and bye-bye.